For years, China's mysterious stealth drone, the CH-7, existed only in scale models, air show displays, and controlled renderings. But in November 2025, everything changed. For the first time, the CH-7 was captured flying, a moment that confirmed the aircraft had moved beyond the runway into a full-fledged flight testing phase. The photo, reportedly taken on November 11, shows the massive flying wing cruising high above the clouds. And right away, analysts noticed something new. Two sharply canted vertical fins, a feature never seen before on CH-7 prototypes, stood out on what was once shown as a pure tailless design. The addition signaled that Chinese engineers are still fine-tuning the balance between aerodynamic stability, control authority, and stealth performance. Sitting at the top of China's rainbow drone family, the CH-7 represents the high end of Beijing's unmanned aerial ambitions. Early data from its 2018 mock-up described a flying wing airframe roughly 10 meters long with a 22-meter wingspan, powered by a single turbofan engine. That setup could reportedly push it close to 910 kilometers per hour, reach altitudes up to 13 kilometers, and remain airborne for around 15 hours with a combat radius of 2,000 kilometers. But as years passed and the design evolved, so did the numbers. By the 2022 Zhuhai Air Show, the wingspan was believed to have grown to around 26 meters, its ceiling to about 15 kilometers, and its maximum takeoff weight to nearly 10 tons. Those changes positioned the CH-7 far closer to a stealthy, high-altitude, long-endurance strike and reconnaissance platform, something in a completely different class from the smaller, export-oriented CH-4 and CH-5 drones already sold abroad. The design language is unmistakable. The CH-7 echoes Western stealth drones like America's X-47B, the secretive RQ-180, and Europe's NE Neuron Demonstrator. Its blended wing body shape merges fuselage and wings into one smooth surface. A dorsal intake conceals the engine face from radar below, and a flattened exhaust helps hide its heat signature. All imagery so far reveals no external hardpoints, implying that weapons, likely anti-radiation missiles or precision glide bombs, are stored internally to preserve low observability. Chinese defense analysts have long linked the CH-7 to missions that combine electronic intelligence, suppression of enemy air defenses, and precision strike. It's designed to hunt radar emitters, identify high-value targets such as missile batteries, command posts, and naval ships, then either engage them directly or pass targeting data to other strike assets while staying stealthy and silent. The prototype seen in flight carries a bright primer yellow finish, a long nose-mounted pitot boom for data collection and fixed tricycle landing gear, clear indicators of an early test phase. Several dorsal fairings likely house telemetry antennas and satellite communications gear. And those temporary canted fins? They mirror early test configurations used by U.S. flying wing programs, where extra vertical surfaces simplify yaw control before advanced digital flight control systems are fully tuned. If later versions of the CH-7 appear without those fins, it will mark a major leap toward its intended pure stealth configuration. Piecing together open-source imagery, the timeline of this project becomes clear. The CH-7 first appeared as a mock-up at the 2018 Zhuhai Air Show. CASC, its manufacturer, hinted at a first flight around 2019 and potential production later in the 2020s. After a long silence, the drone resurfaced in 2022, with redesigned wingtips, new control surfaces, and an extended engine fairing. By late 2024, leaked satellite images showed a full-scale CH-7 taxiing on a remote runway. And now, with the November 2025 photograph, the drone has undeniably taken to the skies. Within China's military ecosystem, the CH-7 appears destined to complement other unmanned and manned systems. It's expected to fly above the existing BZK-005 surveillance fleet and operate alongside the smaller GJ-11, Sharp Sword, a stealth UCAV already seen flying in formation with J-20 stealth fighters. While the GJ-11 specializes in tactical strike missions, the CH-7's massive wings and long endurance give it the reach to act as a high-altitude stealth sensor shooter, a drone that can linger at the edge of enemy air defenses, track radar networks, and feed precise targeting data into China's broader kill chain.
This vision fits directly into Beijing's concept of informationalized and increasingly intelligentized warfare, where interconnected drones, sensors, and precision weapons operate as a single network. U.S. defense reports have repeatedly warned that China's expanding fleet of long-range stealthy unmanned aircraft is reshaping the military balance in the Western Pacific. And a platform like the CH-7, stealthy, persistent, and high-flying, seems purpose-built for that mission. It could, in theory, shadow U.S. carrier groups across the Pacific, relaying targeting data for long-range anti-ship missiles, or provide wide-area surveillance over the Philippine Sea without risking pilots or revealing its position. By comparison, the United States has demonstrated stealth UCAVs such as the X-47B, but none have yet entered large-scale operational service. Europe remains at the prototype stage. China, on the other hand, appears determined to turn its stealth drone concepts into fielded systems, and as history shows, it may eventually export simplified versions to allies and partners across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. If the CH-7 becomes operational, it will likely be integrated with China's long-range missile brigades, naval task forces, and land-based strike units aimed toward Taiwan, Japan, and the wider Indo-Pacific theater. Observers are now watching for signs of serial production, base assignments, joint exercises with the J-20 or GJ-11, and markings that indicate pre-deployment testing. In a region already tense with rival surveillance and strike networks, the emergence of a stealthy high-altitude long-endurance strike drone could be a game-changer. The CH-7's quiet first flight might not just mark a technological milestone, it could signal a new phase in the aerial chess game unfolding over the Pacific.